Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. In this uh, second uh, session for the day, wherein we are trying to uh, practically examine the what is it to be a post-colonial critic, and we have taken two examples. One is uh, Sashi Tharoor's uh, work on Era of Darkness, and we are trying to study his speeches and uh, his interviews, which he gave, uh, where he is talking about the book, The Era of Darkness. And second work, which now we are going to discuss, uh, is from Chimamand uh, Adichi, uh, who is a, again a very well-known uh, novelist from Nigeria. Uh, and uh, her TED talk uh, is on uh, the dangers of single story, uh, dangers of single story, uh, which we are going to talk. So uh, let me just uh, begin with the basic uh, premise uh, of post-colonial uh, criticism uh, on which we are trying to think. So we know that post-colonial criticism concerns itself uh, with, uh, with these four propositions. One is undermining the universalist claims. Uh, so universalism is rejected. And uh, you will find that very beautifully explained by Chimamand uh, Adichie uh, in this video. Uh, uh, how that one way of seeing the world, uh, like something is universal, means something is uh, is established as a permanent truth, uh, uh, unquestionable truth, uh, is something what we call as a uh, universal claim, uh, and that is what uh, uh, in this small TED talk she is uh, uh, rejecting. Then language uh, is something very important that the language around which we live and we grow and how that plays a very vital uh, uh, role. When at one place uh, uh, Chimamand Adichie uh, uh, calls herself that, well, my skin color is like chocolate skin color, yeah? chocolate. Now we know chocolate is something that we have a positive connotation, yeah? Yeah? but then chocolate skin color is something uh, uh, very, uh, very much insignificant in that way. That color is not highly respected color, but how do you combine that language to, to, to create a, a new image uh, uh, in that uh, chocolate skin color. So language uh, is uh, very, very important. And the childhood, when we are exposed to a language in a particular way, that becomes our worldview. That becomes our worldview. And so even if we are involved in creative writing process, then we see the world through those lenses only. It is very difficult for us to go beyond uh, those lenses, language becomes the lens and we can't break through that unless we have to work on it. And that is what you will find in this video also. Identity also uh, as a hybrid identity uh, uh, or an unstable identity. When you move from one, one geographical location to another one, at that time, we feel that fluidity, uh, fluidity, which is necessary, or we understand our identity also in that that fluid form uh, in, in a better way uh, uh, also. Uh, uh, I remember uh, this uh, uh, Jacques Lacan, uh, Jacques Lacan uh, uh, has said uh, in his, uh, one of his uh, 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 psychoanalytical uh, 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 concept uh, about mirror stage. And in the mirror stage, he says, he gave uh, a very uh, a humorous example uh, with pun. Uh, he, he plays pun on the word uh, homelet, uh, homelet, uh, homelet is made up of two words, uh, home, H-O-M-M-E, H-O-M-M-E, -M -M -E, home, which is pronounced as om, uh, om means self, uh, om means I am, uh, that is home, and an omelet, uh, homelet, omelet. So he says omelet, omelet is something where you break an egg, uh, you break an egg and then, then you, you allow the liquid to flow in a pan, in a pan when you make an omelet. So at that time, that liquid is trying to, to get into some shape, but it is still on a frying pan trying to get a shape. So self, when a self is trying to get a, get a shape, that is what he says is a mirror stage. And that happens normally when we are of six months to 18 months, when we are at the age of six to 18 at that time, in that mirror stage, this homelet, which we are trying to get some shape. So at that time, our identity uh, with, with language, with our surrounding, whatever we get, that we are getting into shape. And, and we, we are very much settled with that identity. 
who am I, who are these relatives, this geographical location, this place, and I connect myself that I am Gujarati and I connect with this. Uh, I am Bhavnagari and I connect with Bhavnagar. I am Indian and this. Now, if I have to move out of Bhavnagar or Gujarat or India, and then how am I seen there? How people look at me? And, and uh, if I am looked as an inferior in that place, then it is very shocking. Huh? Then, then to again reclaim my identity as the thing becomes uh, very difficult. So as a, as a Nigerian uh, uh, coming from African content, uh, Chimamand uh, Adichi then goes to America. Uh, and then curious way that people would ask a question. And uh, I think you also will give this example that uh, the roommate in the American University hostel is asking that, uh, uh, play some of your traditional songs, uh, traditional song, because like uh, you are coming from Africa continent. So like it will be like Jinga Lala, Jinga Lala kind of a thing and, and those songs. And well, you said, well, I, 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 I love Mariah Carey. Uh, I love uh, Lady Gaga. I listen uh, Michael Jackson. So he said, no, you should uh, be listening only those, uh, your, your uh, singers uh, and, and those uh, things only. So uh, that is uh, 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 how in that dialogue also uh, you, you see the conflict of identity. Being a sensitive writer, uh, Chimamand is able to observe that. But may, this all things may happen with us also, but we don't observe those things. We, we do not take record it in our memory also, that when we interact with people, what happens? What kind of interaction is happening? How do we record in that in our memory and then locate into a pr proper discourse? Uh, and then we try to tell something about it. So that also is something interesting to be seen in this video. And then cross-cultural interactions also, uh, which comes here, adopt, adapt, adapt, and how uh, she speaks about uh, her mastery of English language also, which also is surprising to many Americans uh, that you are coming from Nigeria. How can you speak such a, such a beautiful language? It is not expected that you can speak such a correct English language. Uh, and this is that you have adapted, you have, you have become skilled in using uh, uh, the language of master or the language of other uh, in, in a very skillful way you have mastered uh, that. So you have adopted, adapted and adapted uh, to that level uh, also. Uh, and then in, in uh, several stages of post-colonial criticism, we have seen that how the uh, colonial countries uh, are represented by white people and then self-exploration. So here also we will see uh, lots of self-exploration, which is a part of second uh, second phase of post-colonial criticism, celebrating diversity, celebrating self, celebrating hybrid identity, uh, uh, our own culture, uh, our own culture. So you are not ashamed of our own culture. And we, we try to say uh, with a sense of pride about our what we are, from where we come, uh, you have uh, you have a sense of pride with your skin color also. Uh, so you are not ashamed that uh, my skin colors are like this or that or my I, I cannot have a ponytail uh, like the other uh, uh, women uh, with having a longer, uh, you have a curly hair genetically. You have a curly hair, so you can't have uh, those ponytails. But you are owning your own identity. Yeah? That was that phase, self-exploration. That I seen that you will see here, uh, and uh, and then uh, this uh, empirical way, uh, empirical way that she is exploring uh, uh, what we actually find in the surrounding, how people see the things. Uh, that is uh, again very interesting to be seen uh, uh, here also. And these are the points which I, I hope you will use in your blog when you write about it. Uh, in this proper context, you are going to situate uh, your, your analysis and then you will uh, publish it as a, as a blog also. Okay, so now let me ask you that what are the, the important points that you have observed uh, in, in, in this? And in between, if you have any question, then that also you can ask. So who will start first? Sir, may I? Ha, yes, yeah. If, if possible, uh, keep your camera on. Yes, if possible, when you speak, keep your camera on. Yeah, yes. Chima uh, Minji uh, she is an African storyteller, a novelist, and um, uh, here she is describing something, some of her personal stories. And uh, she, uh, she mainly points out the dangers of a single story. 
Uh, she grew up in university campus Niger Nigeria. Uh, started re- uh, her mother tells her that she started reading at the age of uh, two, but uh, probably uh, she tells that might be at the age of two or four. So she was reading American and British uh, books. Then uh, she was also early writer. Almost at the age of seven, she started writing, and what she wrote about her characters were white and blue eyed characters. Uh, her characters were pl- uh, playing in snow eight apples they talked about the weather lovely sun but uh, in niger nigeria there was no snow, snow. they were um, they were eating mangoes and they never talked anything of about uh, weather then uh, their uh, ca- characters were almost uh, foreign characters and uh, she also mentioned about uh, ginger bear that uh, they used to drink ginger bear but she never knew what was ginger bear and she and also expressed the desire to taste uh, ginger bear and uh, in uh, africa she uh, uh, read african books and in that uh, we see that mental shift in perception of uh, literature that uh, uh, books to have uh, foreign foreigners in them is uh, important to new, to get a broader idea of the world then uh, It, this those books opened a new world for her and uh, uh, african writers uh, saved from single story uh, she uh, she was a uh, uh, mid- conventional middle class family her uh, mother was a uh, administrator and uh, her father was professor in university and uh, at the age of uh, at uh, age of 8 uh, um, they had a house boy who was uh, fide okay uh, okay let me stop you here so uh, one point you have made okay so one very interesting point that you have uh, made so then we will give, ask uh, other student to continue from this so we can avoid repetition also uh, and if anything important is missed out then other can fill in eh, also uh, there and the, the next one who will speak now they will speak from this point okay uh, a, a very interesting point uh, childhood stories eh? childhood stories and then when she tells that she became a, a writer so even in her stories there were characters who were white people uh, whose habits was to eat apples uh, and beer uh, and, and 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 snow and other things there and then suddenly you realize that well in my world there is no snow uh, and we we eat mangoes instead of apple so why am i using uh, 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 why am i using uh, apple my why my characters are eating this <laughs> why not the other thing what is uh, uh, this so that that is that is knowing self huh? that is that self exploration you read some stories and uh, uh, once you start writing if you are just doing that then your mind is colonized your mind is colonized by those uh, things uh, and in many ways huh? that's why many times we have seen huh? this that when we watch uh, hindi cinema huh? the hindi cinema of very rich people who are who are just getting bored by something and then what they do to kill their boredom they go to foreign country for a picnic they go to foreign country so i always feel that who are these indians <laughs> how can we connect ourselves with these indians who are we where are our stories who are we where are our stories so in the last class also we have said that well as a youngster a young indian is what is he looking for young indian is looking for work for job for for economical freedom uh, financial liberty that is what he is looking for the young young uh, young indian is looking so where are those stories uh, why there are no stories where the, these people are told and then we refer to some of the stories like aspirants or quota factory so web series is coming to answer uh, web series uh, is making a space and trying to tell that well your poets will take time to tell stories your novelists will take time to tell stories but there are web series who are telling that well this are your perhaps this this what is your world huh? young people's world uh, is like this but huh? but if i was not interested in that world and i still was interested in the different world of a very rich super rich people then now i start questioning that also that why this this world huh? and uh, where are we huh? when i look at now huh? when now i look at films uh, and if there are characters who are teachers and if there are university teachers or college teachers then i am very much interested to see what are they doing what are they doing and will will that be the way that uh, uh, the university college teachers would be doing the things or uh, not so when i was watching this gabbar is back uh, film where the protagonist was a college teacher the protagonist was a college teacher and so then what he was doing was something very terrible 
You said that, well, teachers are not like this. Teachers don't do violence. They have a better way of the solution. It is not you hang people. You say, well, this person is doing wrong. Catch him and hang him. Now, that, that is not the way of teacher. This is Gunda's way of doing the thing. This is what teachers do. Can Don't be Gunda. <laughs> so you have a problem with that portrayal of, of a college teacher. You will say that, well, this is not fair portrayal eh, of college teacher. It is better you would have made an underworld dawn there. Kam hatu, to koi underworld na manas na hatu, college na professor na sukam tiya hatu. Why have you put uh, him uh, uh, there in that uh, context? So you start reading uh, your environment, yours, uh, how they are narrated, and then you question. Uh, you question also. So obviously, uh, it is the concern is the white, uh, the colonial world that you read, and how they intercept into our unconscious and then become a part of our world, that is our creative world or whatever we see. And we fail to see ourselves. Now, decolonizing means you start looking at yourself again. And you say that, well, uh, 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 we love mangoes. We don't have apples, huh? in, like in Gujarat also. Huh? Normally in this season, huh? summer season, it is the mangoes that play a vital role. But if you if you see there is this apple plays a vital role. Kahawat ma, but the apple khuba. Eu sun khai to ke apple khai. Abe loko sansodan karni ke kena apple tree jno tu dia. Fig nu tree hatu. Fig hatu. Apple to hatu jne. Ane ane it it was not even a fruit, any fruit. It was a tree of knowledge. It was ultimately tree of knowledge. It was not even apple or a fig, but tree of knowledge. Uh, from where the fruit of knowledge Eve has taken, uh, Eve has tasted. And you wanted to tell women that don't taste the, the fruit of knowledge. Uh, you are supposed to be subdued to Adam's. Uh, you are supposed to be subdued to Adam. So punishment is, is, is given. Uh, apple, uh, uh, apple laptops uh, are there. Uh, uh, apple with Newton also is connected. But my world is about mangoes. <laughs> the, the mango season that we have seen or other fruits. Also, so how how what my characters will do? Uh, that is uh, something very interesting to be seen uh, uh, in, in that. That is the process of being colonized as a child and then decolonizing uh, oneself by questioning uh, those things. Uh, uh, also, uh, the parents, uh, the point of parents also is very interesting. So she is not coming from a, a, a family which wherein there was no education. Uh, father was professor, mother also was an administrator. So. A good education and good job, uh, so well settled, uh, well academic uh, background uh, she is getting. Even with this uh, good academic background, uh, the, the parents already well settled. When she will go to America, she will be still seen as somebody coming from a village, wherein as if she must be the first one to be academic or be educated uh, in his entire family or entire village. Erite America Jaito Juene. And black people are untidy people, they are uncivilized people, they are uneducated people. The stereotypes, that was also something point to be noted in this day. Okay, now from here, she was talking about a little boy. Then anybody else would like to say about that? Or any other point in, in this continuation? Freddy, huh? Freddy boy, she tells about that there was a maid, huh? maid, uh, a help, huh? there was a help, Freddy. Anybody has noted that? Otherwise, I can ask Khushbu to continue with that point. About the point of Freddy, the help. Ghar kaam karwa maate, ena thi garib na ghar maathi ek chokro ghare. मदद करवा काम आपरे जे काम वाला भाईयो बहनो रखा हो आपरे मोटे भागे इन इन भावनगर रीजन आपरे काम वाला बहनज होय काम वाला बहन होय जे वासन उटकवा आवे संजवारी पोता करवा आवे पण अहमदाबाद मा रामानी सिस्टम छे रामो आवे એટલે કોઈ પુરુષ છોકરો હોય ઘર કામ કરવા આવે વાસન ઉટકવા આવે એને રામો કે રામો અહમદાવાદ માં એ રામાની સિસ્ટમ કે કોઈ છોકરો એ વાસન ઉટકવાનું સંજવારી પોતાનું રસોડાનું કામ કરવા માટે આવે એવો ફ્રેડી Take our Ramo. That is what she is mentioning. Anybody would like to say about that? Uh, sir, Khushbu forgot to mention uh, one uh, one important uh, uh, topic that Chinu HB and Camera Lai, uh, uh, they both had the writer who changed the perception of our Chinaman Adichi. 
that uh, mm. before before uh, reading these two uh, uh, african literature she thinks that uh, the world is uh, or uh, literature are for the that kind of people they foreign people like who who has a white skin and blue eyes but uh, uh, after reading the african literature his uh, her perception are totally changed that, that literature consists like my type of people also hmm yes who are the writers chinua achebe and camera hmm. lai yes yeah, chinua achebe and this so uh, yes uh, she makes a good point that after reading this work uh it really changed that this can be uh this also can be the literature huh? uh, this is of our people huh? uh, uh, there and, and and now you can say that uh, though we study english literature huh? uh, uh, though we study uh, english literature uh, uh before we begin our class in our daily schedule we make we give one space to regional literature so we are not uprooted many people think that if you study english literature you will be uprooted you will be only about other culture but well we give that space for regional literature so every day you bring beautiful poems from gujarati language or hindi language and you speak and and we speak we we give lots of reference when we study uh, this literature that is the either american or british literature we give lots of reference to hindi web series hindi web series Uh, last time i was having one talk uh, it was a, it was for student uh, about cultural studies i think jamnagar college organized that and after i gave lots of examples about shakespeare and other people and then one one student asked that what about hindi literature huh? what about why why there there is no nothing you talk about gujarati literature in the hindi i said that i referred to a retelling of uh, uh, of 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 macbeth huh, in a malayali film huh, web series malayali film uh, which is uh, again there so that was joji uh, joji uh, was the film uh, which was there so i said that in that context i referred to uh, the hindi cinema uh, uh, the the retelling of macbeth in terms of uh, this uh, uh, makbul uh, makbul uh, joji so uh, it was referred uh, it was referred but see what is our mind our mind says that if you talk about uh, novel then only it is about literature Uh, if you talk about web series it is not about literature uh, this mindset and it is it is among young people also whose world is around web series uh, 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 their world is not around novels uh, uh, those those women of victorian times uh, who were reading novels and they were not allowed to read novel uh, uh, that that was there because novel was the only mode of entertainment uh, only mode uh, of that that's why more, more and more women were attracted today novel is not the only mode of entertainment we have other alternatives and this so uh, but when you refer to this people still do not consider that you are talking about literature you are not talking because that is again a different colonization that happens there so our own literature also should be read should be compared i referred to an example that in phd also we give priority if you are comparing a, a, a literary text from america or britain or europe or russia with indian writer it is welcome movement it is very welcome uh, uh, kind of an idea so uh, see now this all things you will require that sometimes you are arguing and you are very progressive in your argument you are arguing you are very progressive at that time somebody will tell you that uh, you your your mind is spoiled your mind is corrupted because you study english literature <laughs> this western ideas has corrupted your mind then you will require this that no we don't only study western we study indian also and and th these things are very much taken into indian literature also these ideas this progressive ideas are taken by indian writers uh, indian novelist also uh, it is not only so so correct tame ramayan ke mahabharat vise kai arth ghatan karta ho ne koi name lage ke tame to apman karo cho to tame shashi tharur nu aapi sako ke jo the great indian novel tame atal bihari vajpay ni poem juo je apne gai kale ds ma joi hati महाभारत पर बात करे सो यू के वेरी क्विकली वी के रायण से तो रावण रावण नहीं रावण आलय रायण तो हो सो दीस दीस प्रिपेर्स वन वन माइंड रेडी फॉर मेनी ऑफ दोज डिबेट्स ऑल्सो ओके सो गुड पॉइंट अबाउट देट हाउ दीस राइटर्स हेव चेन्ज देअर माइंड सेट हा येस देन येस यस 
uh, in this video uh, aditi also explained that if we only hear about the people or uh, or about place or situation from one point of view so we are uh, we are already accept accepting the risk uh, that are totally different and the one line one line i have noted down uh, that uh, if we look uh, start the story with the era of uh, native american and not with the arrival of the british uh, so we have a, a totally different story from that and uh, one point also is that uh, one american student uh, uh, ask, uh, asking uh, her that uh, in you know in her novel uh, the male protagonist is, is a abusive na na nigerian uh, so uh, uh, to answer this adichi says that uh, the all all uh, young american men are already serial killers so here uh, she create a fun and uh, okay another, another uh Ah, yes yeah two points two interesting points you have made yeah before we uh, again come to so we can give chance to everybody uh, there so uh, now uh, still before i come to this points that you have made uh, uh, we were talking about that that uh, help uh, so if the others have not read that then i can invite khushbu again uh, to talk about that freddy's point that khushbu was making before i stopped her yes 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 khushbu you can continue that Yes, uh, Freddy was a boy, a little boy who was uh, working in their family. Uh, 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 this, uh, Chimamunde's mother told told her that he is a very comes from a very poor family, and their family his family lives in a village. Um, so he was working with them, and when once um, Chimamunde was uh, something up uh, her. plate was remaining in her plate then her mother told her to finish everything because people like fide don't have um, food to eat for with them and uh, so only point her mother told her uh, that about uh, only one point in her mind was that they were very poor and once they once they visited fide's village uh, then um, it, uh, the, her, his brother had made a basket and it was a very beautiful one so uh, uh, her, uh, it was not only that they were very poor but they had talent also they can make beautiful baskets but uh, some conditions made them poor okay yeah that was a, a good point huh? uh, you know, domestic help huh? domestic help of uh, i think fide f i d e fide huh? was the name of that little boy his huh? name was fide the only thing my mother told us about him was that his family was very yeah fide eh? fide eh? Uh, it says uh, uh f i d e fide eh? uh, name was uh, fide eh? and a uh, very interesting point that poor eh? you are told one story only that they are poor but they are good in some other thing when you visited the home you realize that they have uh, skills in other things also skills in other things and that also can make uh, uh, but that was not told and when the, th the things are not told in various perspective we normally get a wrong notion about the things so everything is to be seen in multiple perspectives multiple perspectives is always never believe only one side of the story never believe which obviously becomes a very interesting life lesson very interesting life lesson that if anybody is telling you something about somebody koi tamne tama koi na vishe kai kahe to sidhu e ek tarfi varta kare manwane nahi क्यों ए वखाण हो टीका हो वखाण हो तो नहीं मानवा टीका हो तो नहीं मानवा देन देर विल ऑलवेज बी अनदर साइड ऑफ द स्टोरी अदर द साइड एंड देन वॉट इज योर एक्सपीरियंस इज द थर्ड डायमेंशन ऑफ एवरीथिंग थ्री डी इज ऑलवेज देर बट वी गो बी ऑन थ्री डी नाउ वी हैव मल्टीपल डायमेंशन ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड लुकिंग ऑल्सो देर ओके सो देट इज ऑल्सो अ गुड पॉइंट नाउ सी इन केस यू आर हैविंग द प्रॉब्लम अबाउट दिस टू रीड थोरोली और टू टेक नॉट देन वॉट यू रिक्वायर इज ट्रांसक्रिप्ट ट्रांसक्रिप्ट हो ट्रांसक्रिप्ट एट कोई स्पीच हो टेक्स्युअल कंटेट जम आप बोली है कैप्शन लखाता जाए कैप्शन ऑटोमेटिकली आप ड्राइव में सेव पी जाता हो देट आर यू अवेर अबाउट देट आई थिंक लास्ट सेमेस्टर वी ट्राइड दीस ऑटो ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इन कॉम लैपटॉप आई थिंक इन लैपटॉप इट हेपन्स नॉट इन मोबाइल फोन and automatically it is saved in in, in the drive also uh, are you aware uh, anybody about this
or not i think no, nobody is aware then some day we can talk about this then if you are not aware then some day we can uh, uh, talk about uh, this that how it can be converted into uh, auto uh, uh, automatic transcripts eh? auto transcripts eh? not not aware uh, uh, are you no, nobody sir in i that, think uh, video of uh, in that video of bill ashcroft uh, the uh, captions were visible in the video also Ha, no, that is that that can be visible in on your screen also huh? when you are listening. When you and even on mobile phone, you can see the transcript. Are you able to do that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody. Yes. You can turn. So when when I speak in English, then you will get the transcript. But if I speak in other language, then the transcript will not be there. Huh? Uh, captions. Huh? There is an option of caption. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, so uh, remind me to talk about this in in the next ds eh? next ds uh, if you are uh, uh, aware then you can tell it will be good some of you can present that that it is it is always good uh, if you do that and if not uh, then i will uh, let you uh, know that how it can be done okay so in the next uh, ds uh, you can uh, uh, just remind me some of you can show other students or you can remind me also okay? Okay, fine. But now this see, transcripts. Uh, when you have a TED talk, uh, TED talk, uh, this video is taken from TED talk, and in TED talk, uh, this transcripts are are given uh, along with the TED talk. So, uh, from this blog, uh, this blog which is shared with you, if you click on this TED uh, TED, then you will come to this website, uh, TED Talk dot com. This website you come where this video is here. And here uh, at the bottom, you see details and transcript. Uh, do you see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trans yes, sir. Are you seeing the word transcript written yes, there? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, it is how many languages? 49. Yes, it is in 49 languages. Yeah? And word by word, you get what is spoken. So if you are missing some word, then you can just I come here. Outside Nigeria. Outside Nigeria. And when you click on that, even we that words are spoken also. We ate mango. And we never talked we about, never the, talked weather about the weather. From the there, it speaks again, Yeah, that, that part. And it is in 49 languages. So uh, it is also in Hindi language. Yes, automatically with a single click. Uh, see, see the magic of technology. <laughs> Uh, you get in Hindi also. Huh? So if you have a problem with the English word, a quick Hindi transcript also you can do. So now when you are borrowing things for your write-up, then transcript helps you a lot. Huh? When you want to use some quote, then either you have to listen the, the video several times. Huh? You will have to listen the video several times. Instead of that, you can uh, quickly, huh? you can quickly uh, 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 get this uh, 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 version in, in, in this language. So 49 languages are supported and this also you can uh, do. This is a TED Talk feature. Uh, transcripts are given and you can quickly take the, the transcripts from uh, those uh, things. Yeah. Uh, now see this. Now while I have put this on, while we are talking here, I put the, trans the caption on and see this. If you are able to read here. Yeah? So I was asking you, uh, uh, and there at the bottom, you see details in transcript. And then there is a reply from Daya, yes, uh, you see this, yes, yeah, uh, transcript uh, and seeing word transcript. Uh, so you said yes. Uh, uh, and uh, how many languages? Riddhi replied 49. So this way, you automatically see this gets ready. Automatically, everything that is spoken. Uh, uh, that uh, we get in terms of written words. Uh, this is laptop feature. Uh, so you won't get it in mobile phone. But in mobile, you can see uh, this, that everything that is spoken uh, comes here uh, in this. There may be slight error uh, uh, of some of the words. But still, we get lot many things uh, in, in a correct uh, way. Yeah? yeah, so this was uh, the thing. But we'll see this uh, again uh, in Thor. But we're talking about something else and we went off uh, the other thing okay fine huh? yes now daya uh, has said this very interesting point here yeah? and that is uh, uh, this that uh, 
arrival versus arrow huh? arrival versus arrow some of the histories of the Yeah, I, I lost my connection. Sir, unmute your mic. My, in my laptop. So I'm, I'm connected here okay, right now. Okay. So uh, arrows versus arrival. Huh? That was uh, the reference huh, we are talking about. And so uh, in, in that we, we see huh, that uh, this Native Americans are narrated as killers. Huh? They used to come with arrow. Huh? But so people say that you have to start with the arrival. Huh? If there is no arrival, there is no arrow shooting. If there is no arrival, there is no arrow shooting. You are an outsider. You are entering into somebody's region. So they are killing you. They are attacking you because there is encounter. There is killing. There is massacre. That was what was the absent from the definition of colonialism also. Oxford English Dictionary do not refer to this encounter which comes here. So you say that these people were bad people, but they were bad because you went to encroach their land. You went to encroach their land. So they are now coming with bow and arrow to kill you also. Okay. And uh, abusive male protagonist uh, in, in a novel. And people say that all black male are abusive. And she gave a very interesting example that I read a novel, an American novel about uh, American psycho serial, serial killer, but I don't think that all Americans are serial killers. Right? It's a story, yeah, but you can't stereotype characters. Right? You can't, you should not stereotype all the characters right? as if it is one way, then it doesn't mean it is all people are like, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Next, huh? who will speak next? Yes, next. After this, what are the points coming? Are you getting my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, fine. So then, who would continue from here? What else are you finding? In this talk. Uh, sir, uh, I have noted down uh, one to point about a stereotype. Uh, that line uh, she uh, she is uh, uh, speaking. The single story creates stereotypes, and the problem with stereotype is not that they are untrue, but they are uh, uh, incomplete. And uh, she also says that uh, they make one story become the only story. Yes, good point. Yeah. It's an interesting point. The stereotypes, it is not, it is untrue, but it, it is incomplete. Yeah, it is incomplete. That is the problem with the stereotypes. Yeah. Okay. So single story tells us an incomplete story. And you require the another version of the story also. Uh, yes. Then next. Still there are yes, so quite sir. a long. Yeah, we have Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, see, also refer one London merchant, uh, John Locke, who sailed to West Africa in 1561. And uh, he, he writed that uh, they are also in Africa, uh, black Africans as be, uh, beads who have no houses. And he also write that uh, they are also people without heads, having their mouth and eyes in their breeds. So she uh, said that, and one must admire the imagination of John Locke, but what is important about 
Kot is writing is that is represent the beginning of the tradition of telling African stories in the West. And the uh, tradition of sub-Saharan uh, Africa is a place of negative, of differences, of darkness, of people who in the words of the wonderful poet Rudyard Kipling are half devil, David and, uh, sorry, half devil and half child. So she also referred this point. Yes, a very interesting point huh? and, and a good statement also. Huh? John Locke and the beginning of the story, the beginning of uh, African story in the West uh, had the beginning like this, that they are, uh, they are negative, huh? they are demons, huh? they are monstrous, they are half devil, half child uh, kind of a thing. So that, that, that made the, the archetype of those people. Huh? And, and whenever people required to draw something demonic, they started portraying them as black people, black people. So it, beca it became very easy for anybody in the world to portray bad people as black people, eh? bad people as, and we know that in our, uh, our cinema also, uh, we used to have uh, ugly, bad looking people, black looking people as villains also. Eh? One of the, the problem that was there with the film like Bahubali also. Uh, which goes into the same archetype of portraying uh, the, the bad people as very ugly and black looking uh, people like uh, nigger word also is used many times a derogatory word for that also. Okay. Yes, so that is uh, how uh, it has captured people's imagination uh, 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 worldwide to portray uh, negative people, uh, negative people as black people. Uh, yes, yeah, then what else are you finding? Okay. May I? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, she described about uh, importance of story. Uh, she said that the stories have been used to uh, dispose and to mulling, but stories can also be used to empower and uh, humanize. Stories can break the dignity of uh, people, but uh, stories can also repair that uh, broken dignity. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, that also is a very interesting and a very good uh, uh, point. Yeah? That the stories can break the dignity. It can build the dignity of uh, the people uh, also. Uh, stories are wonderful things. Uh, we have to be very careful uh, when we think of stories. Uh, the title is very interesting. Dangers of single stories. Dangers of single stories. When we have only one narrative or a single story about the thing at that time, there are a uh, lot many problems, uh, but stories can be used uh, uh, to, uh, to again build uh, the people and their dignity uh, uh, also. Yes. So good point uh, uh, also uh, there by, by uh, Lata was there. No? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, then. Yes, sir, may. Ah, yes. Uh, in uh, Aditya's uh, migration to the United States, where she first time uh, become uh, conscious about uh, her skin color. So at that time, she said, uh, uh, "Race is a uh, stranger's construct because you have to learn what it means to be bla black in America. So you have to learn that uh, watermelon is supposed uh, to be uh, offensive." And uh, another uh, point of view, uh, uh, her roommate had a single story for American people. So her roommate become uh, shocked by the English speech of uh, Aditi uh, because American people think that uh, no one can stand near to their position. Uh, Aditi said uh, that now that how we, uh, we are treated uh, from childhood to see things only from a single vision. Uh, while uh, they are multi, multi dimensional way to see the real world. So these things are deeply covered uh, on our mind to use only one uh, uh, pr perspective to look at the world. Yes, that is a, a good point there that uh, how uh, the people who look at the thing from single dimension and a multi dimensional viewpoint that becomes very necessary and very important uh, also. 
uh, what is uh, uh, very interesting to be seen uh, in, in this uh, larger narrative uh, is something like this that uh, this all world with this colonized world uh, like if you see about african countries uh, so many countries small countries or india uh, india also is so many countries in one country uh, if language is what makes for a country then we have uh, so many all the states are countries uh, in our place also so uh, uh, this this people this people who live with diversity you know, of languages and lot many other things they they have a natural multi dimensional way of looking at it you know, at everything multi dimensional whereas the people who has grown into a mono linguistic uh, 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 environment they have they may suffer from this uh, 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 mono mono dimension or a single dimension way of looking at things also so it is it is their lake of something it is this lake but that their lake became something good and our advantage became something lacking that that change was something very curiously seen in the time of uh, colonization which now we are bouncing back and we are saying that well we indians uh, uh, all indians at least are, are well aware about minimum three languages we are we are multi multilingual people it is not only bilingual but we are multilingual uh, pick up any indian and he will be able to know at least three languages whereas in 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 this european uh, it is very difficult to find it is not that they don't know other language there, there are people who know lot many other languages but natural acquisition of languages when it happens uh, then we have uh, that that way that we acquire uh, many languages and which gives us a multi dimensional advantage uh, over everything uh, uh rather than the lake of something yeah. yes a good point yes then who else will add any other would like to add any point here what else is being discussed Yes, all important points I have, I have discussed, or anything is remaining. Yes, anybody? Any any points? Yeah. Okay. Any final conclusion you would like to add to this? Anybody? If there is no other point, then anybody would like to say what is your take? Huh? Take away from this video? What is your uh, final message that you get from this? Uh, sir, uh, one point we forget that uh, uh, that uh, uh, she recall her childhood. That uh, she thinks that her childhood is, is not well, but finally she find that uh, her childhood uh, childhood is full of happiness. Uh, and he, he also uh, revealed the darkness of uh, uh, his childhood. That he lost her father. He has poverty, and so many times, uh, he, uh, her parents not achieve salary. Uh, he, her friend was um, uh, killed, and her brother was uh, bro brother has not well educated. Uh, educated. Uh, she described the dark uh, aspect of um, that uh, particular uh, country. So it is very interesting that uh, she also she does not only admire the good aspect, but she also uh, reveals the bad aspect of uh, 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 her life. Yes, uh, also that that's again a, a very interesting, very good point uh, that she refers because Nigeria has has been under a military government. Uh, no democratic values are respected. Uh, the, uh, this so. Uh, grandfather died in refugee camp, camp refugee camps. Cousin died because he could not get adequate health care. 
closest friends uh, uh, also died in a plane crash because our fire trucks did not have water. Uh, so uh, she grew up under repressive military governments, uh, repressive military governments that devalued education. Uh, that government did not value education. Uh, sometimes even parents were not able to get salaries. Uh, so a uh, lot many things they have seen that sometimes the food uh, is not complete also. Uh, breakfast table. Uh, and, and something is there, it is not that things get very expensive, milk is rationed. Uh, uh, so even uh, political fear, uh, no, uh, uh, new kind of normalized that you are constant under political fear, which is invading their, uh, their lives also. So that also is a story to be told. Uh, that also is the story uh, 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 there. Uh, so even this negative stories uh, is also to be told uh, to the, the people. Uh, so, but it is not the only story also. There is always another side of those things also. So that's how that if, uh, uh, if uh, uh, there are bad aspects in society, then you have to tell story about that also. Even if it is creating a, a kind of a narrative about a country or a nation, then also if it is fact and truth, it is to be told. That is also a very important uh, uh, part. Uh, sometimes see what is a, a, a kind of a negative take away from such video or such post-colonial discussion is that that don't say anything bad about yourself or your country, religion, culture. Otherwise, people will get an image that your country is bad country, your religion is bad. So that, that's why people try to tell that don't talk bad eh, about your country, religion. That is one of the message that people time and again use under post-colonial discourse. Time and again, you will see that people are using this uh, thing. But very important that if you have a truth in those stories, that is to be told, huh? is to be told. You can tell both the sides of the story, but it, it is not to see that the repression that happens in a society should people should remain silent to that because uh, your, your country may get a bad name huh? or the image of the country or religion or culture may be disparaged. So let me not tell about uh, those things. That is something that is uh, very interesting to keep in mind, uh, to keep in mind in that way. I remember I, I remember that uh, a few few uh, few years back, uh, there was uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, episode in Una, uh, Una, uh, uh, a small town uh, uh, here in Saurashtra. And there were some Dalits were beaten. Uh, they were tied behind a car. And they were very severely beaten and that became very viral. Uh, and when I posted that on my Facebook uh, page, so many people like suggested that, well, a widespread hatred, uh, this kind of thing should not be posted. So many people in different countries, maybe in your friend list, it will go to them also and they will get a story that uh, in India there is untouchability and uh, the Dalits are still beaten, uh, which obviously like... It, no need to stereotype that all Dalits are beaten in a similar way. Uh, so that's not the story to be, if, if that is what the people are getting, it is a wrong story. But somebody is beaten is a truth, huh? is a truth that you should tell that story also, if that has happened. Uh, and if people are stereotyping that all Dalits are being treated in this way, then you can correct that in a next story also. In a next story, you can correct that. But people are using this post-colonial argument that don't disparage the image of your country, your identity, your religion, your culture by telling negative stories. That's why that point is important that she also made a point that ours was a very repressing uh, government and sometimes such bad days were also uh, uh, there. But even from there also you can rise, you can rise from even that condition uh, uh, also. So none of the stories should become a single uh, a story that stereotypes uh, some kinds of truths uh, uh, about anybody. Yes. Yeah. Then anybody, anything is remaining or anything you'd like to tell? Sir, may I? Sir, may I tell? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in this um, novel, it means uh, yeah, she tells that uh, Nigerians don't uh, read literature, but uh, the publisher said uh, he, he disagreed with that, that no, that is not the case. 
uh, literature they don't read because either it is unaffordable or not available so when she uh, wrote one uh, book one novel then one wo- woman as a messenger uh, she met at the station and uh, she told that uh, she read her book but uh, she was not happy with the ending so she suggested her to write another sequel of the same book and to she also gave her storyline that you end the story in this way and uh, she find it very much charming also that people read and even give suggestions also yeah okay fine yeah that's a good episode that people are not reading eh? that is one of the complaints uh, of the thing also but interesting thing in interesting package uh, arousing curiosity of the people read and share a very interesting story that people may come and tell that you should uh, write story this way you this thing should happen in your story so people get involved with stories also uh, it, it does happen eh? there also Uh, yes yeah yes then any other things okay fine then any uh, okay so then so finally we can see uh, that uh, chimamand adichi uh, very very interestingly uh, uh, opens our eyes towards how stereotyping happens through literature and through stories also and uh, uh, there are very grave dangers uh, of believing into stories as truth uh, uh, or not trying to check the other side of those stories uh, those stories should have a different narrative uh, also and then we may we may live life with some kinds of lies uh, lies also uh, about those uh, stories also so uh, some some people are narrated in such a way that we we get a very constantly very positive bright picture of the things uh, constant bright picture of the thing and then we get an image that well these people are like this only they they are very good people that that also is stereotyping that also is if if not untrue but still half truth only and then there are other people who are constantly portrayed in a darker light in a bad light uh, only and then you you get uh, the image that this people may be like this uh, only uh, she makes a very interesting point that when you get a story from for example africa uh, or, or nigeria and you get a story from america uh, now you get a bad story uh, from uh, africa or america and and you you believe that all africans are are like this i use deliberately the word all africans because even if it is from kenya or nigeria the other people will say that this is the story about all africans which is obviously a problematic uh, proposition to to think also but when you get a story from west that is from america or from uh, from any of these powerful countries then we do not believe that all americans are like this or we do not believe that this. why that happens why why that happens why in our mind we we conceive these stories in different ways i give you a different example in our context that if there is a, a, one dalit in a government office doing corruption and is caught and then we will say that well all dalits might be like this but if one person from elite class uh, is caught in corruption then we do not say that all are like this like we have example of vijay malia uh, is there harshad mehta story ketan parekh's story and many uh, choksis uh, who are running uh, out of the country uh, uh, modis uh, are there uh, uh, so lot many nero modi uh, uh, lalit modi uh, we have this two modis who are uh, 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 running out so but you don't say that uh, to which caste these people belong to and are this this caste is all bad no why why this why why such thing happens why america's story you see a uh, 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 cycle of this uh, uh, what do you call it this serial killer uh, story of, then we don't say that all americans are like this uh, we don't say that it is because that in in america there are so many stories about america uh, there are so many stories about whereas from africa there are no other storytellers there are no other stories no other narratives so that happens that you get only one story you have to tell multiple stories and in the same way here that 
you will find that there are there there are so many good people from the upper class also like if you say that uh, 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 like many times we made this reference that the the, the power power structure of uh, brahmins and kshatris was playing a vital role in controlling other caste they, at the same time we have a story that kshatris were very brave fighters also they they were standing strong against the enemies uh, to protect uh, either in form of marathas or rajputs from rajasthan they were ready to fight to sacrifice their lives also the brahmins were there to create a wonderful knowledge systems uh, all the knowledge system of ayurved uh, and and all those uh, ved upanishad whatever we have it also is created by uh, uh, the brahmin scholars so you have those stories also you have the other stories also you don't believe that well if if one kshatri is doing wrong thing you don't say that all kshatri are like this but dalits are not narrated as such there are not many stories coming from the dalits now now it is coming now there are lot many narratives are there but we are talking about 30 50 years uh, ahead of today's time and then one story comes you believe everybody is like this one story comes there so african a new one writer comes tells a story everybody believes that this is africa so what is important is that keep on telling stories about yourself keep on keep on sharing what you are doing telling story now telling story doesn't mean that i have to write a novel uh, telling story doesn't mean that i i just have to uh, i just have to write a short story or or a creative only stories are told in terms of documentaries also stories are shared in terms of social media posts also you share one photo we are doing this and you put it there it is a story it is a story that you are telling that well we have done this we are doing uh, this so uh, uh, when when i put this in context of academic institutes uh, then i i feel that well if uh, it's a uh, bombay university madras university kolkata university uh, delhi university there are so many stories uh, there are so many success stories about uh, all these universities but when it comes to smaller universities like bhavnagar university then you won't have many stories you have to tell so many stories eh? so we have to keep on posting what we are doing eh? what we are doing we have to tell because it is still not told eh? it is still not told so people believe that well good work happens in this big universities only in other universities nobody is studying nobody is teaching that is the story that goes eh? to the outside eh? world so you have to tell the another story people open some day the newspaper and find that in in the month of july there will be 15 days of holidays so sarkari karmachariyon ne maja avi headline aave sarkari karmachariyon ne maja aa mahina ma 15 divas raja ek divas raja muke to 7 divas no mini vacation then you then you have to post that today it is a holiday but you are taking a class etle lakhu pade nahi tar bada ne em thai ke aa sarkari teacher pan maja j karta hase raja hase aaj to so they won't be have to teach so we have to tell that holiday we are we are making a story you are telling another story instead of getting stereotyped into what the newspaper headline is telling you are telling your own story so need to tell other stories and multiple stories multiple stories are necessary then people will uh, escape from being stereotyped in one or the another way then people so lots of these countries post colonial countries whose stories are not told and colonized people uh, co colonizers were keep on telling the story about everybody we have to snatch uh, the pen from their hands uh, or we have to share that space of sharing you have to share and you have to tell that well you can tell the story about us i will also tell the story about me i will also tell the story about you also i will also write and in today's time with digital space that we all have we all have pens in our hand we don't have to snatch pen from anybody's hand now huh? we all are free. just click start a blog start telling your story just log into some social media platform start sharing your story so easy it was not so easy in past you have to find a publisher and if publisher is ready then only your stories were told now everybody has a very interesting power in their hands to tell their stories through digital uh, media and all these people whose stories are not told uh, they have to keep on using uh, Uh, digital platforms uh, to keep on writing and sharing uh, their stories in whatever activities they keep on doing uh, rather than being stereotyped in one or the another ways one of the stereotypes with which we fight uh, we means arts people uh, we means arts people apre arts na loko je stereotype same satat ladvu padtu hoy che e ke tame am bada nakama cho 
વિજ્ઞાન વાળા આપણને કે તમે નકામ આશા તમે સંશોધન કરો એ શું કામ નું કે અમે સંશોધન કરીએ તો જીવનમાં લોકોને ઉપયોગી થાય જો અમે સાયન્સ મેડિસિન વેક્સિન નું ઇન્વેન્ટ કરે તો એ કેટલા બધાને કામ લાગે તમે શું કવિતા લખો તો વાયરસ દૂર થાય કઈ વાયરસ હોય ને તમે ત્યાં જઈને પોયમ લખો તો વાયરસ ક્યાં દૂર થવાનો છે તો તમે નકામા વોટ ઇઝ ધ યુઝ ઓફ યુ પીપલ એન્ડ દેન વી હેવ ટુ ટેલ સ્ટોરી વોટ ઇઝ ધ યુઝ ઓફ અસ વાય વાય વી કાન્ટ લીવ વિથઆઉટ સ્ટોરી નો બડી કેન એક્ઝિસ્ટ વિથઆઉટ સ્ટોરી વાર્તા ના હોય તો આપણે જીવી જ ના શકીએ વાર્તા ના હોય તો આપણું અસ્તિત્વ નાશ પામે આપણી વાર્તા ના હોય તો જયારે કોઈ આપણી વાર્તા કરશે તો એ નહીં બરાબર કરે આપણું અસ્તિત્વ નહીં રહે રિમેમ્બર દિસ દિસ એપિસોડ ઓફ ગ્રીક્સ એન્ડ સ્પાર્ટન જયારે ગ્રીક હતા ત્યારે એના પડોશમાં સ્પાર્ટન હતા અને સ્પાર્ટન એટલે એવા કે એ લડાયક મિજાજના લોકો લડવું જ મહત્વનું એમના માટે ફાઇટ એન્ડ એન્ડ નો વે લિટરેચર એટલે કે આ ગ્રીક લોકો થિયેટર કરે નાટક કરે સાહિત્ય લખે કવિતાઓ કરે બધું ખોટી વસ્તુ છે લડાયક મિજાજના લોકો જ બનાવવાના ફાઇટર્સ ઓનલી એન્ડ એન્ડ દેર ઇઝ અ ફિલ્મ થ્રી હંડ્રેડ દેર ઇઝ અ ફિલ્મ થ્રી ઝીરો ઝીરો થ્રી હંડ્રેડ ઓન સ્પાર્ટન હીરોઝ થ્રી હંડ્રેડ બ્રેવ ફાઇટર્સ બટ ટુડે આજે આપણે જોઈએ તો આજે આપણે જેટલા ગ્રીક ને યાદ કરીએ છીએ એટલા સ્પાર્ટન ને નથી કરતા કારણ કે શેના આધારે ગ્રીક ને યાદ કરીએ તો કે હોમર ને યાદ કરીએ છીએ સોફોકલિસ ને યાદ કરીએ છીએ સાહિત્ય છે તો એ જીવિત એમની વાર્તાઓ છે ગ્રીક ની વાર્તા છે તો ગ્રીક આજે જીવિત છે ગ્રીક્સ આર લિવિંગ વિથ અસ ટુડે સ્પાર્ટન આર ડેડ સ્પાર્ટન કલ્ચર ઇઝ ડેડ સ્પાર્ટન લાઈફ ઇઝ ડેડ ઓનલી ફાઇટિંગ એન્ડ યુ યુ આર નો મોર દેટ્સ વાય વી હેવ ટુ ટેલ ધ સ્ટોરી એન્ડ વી આર્સ પીપલ પીપલ ઓલવેઝ ક્વેશ્ચન ધ ટેકનોલોજી પીપલ ક્વેશ્ચન અસ ધ મેનેજમેન્ટ પીપલ ક્વેશ્ચન અસ ધ સાયન્સ પીપલ દેટ વોટ ઇઝ યુર નીડ સ્ટેમ રિમેમ્બર દિસ વોટ સ્ટેમ એસ ટી એમ સાયન્સ ટેકનોલોજી એન્જિનિયરિંગ એન્ડ ધીસ મેથેમેટિક્સ દે આર વેલ્યુડ મોર દેન લેંગ્વેજીસ એન્ડ લિટરેચર્સ લેંગ્વેજ એન્ડ લિટરેચર દે આર વેલ્યુડ મોર સો વી હેવ ટુ ટેલ ધ સ્ટોરી દેટ વાય વી આર નેસેસરી વાય વી આર ઓલ્સો why we are uh, important to people and that's why uh, remember in last semester i think we discussed about uh, this this book also in one of the ds uh, somewhere we have said that the, the fuzzy and the tacky uh, by scott uh, uh, hartley the fuzzy and the, the tacky and it says that why the liberal arts uh, why the liberal arts uh, uh, will rule the digital world <laughs> liberal arts uh, that is we people <laughs> why the liberal arts will uh, rule the the digital uh, world the story is to be told huh? and we have to read this books uh, what arguments are there and how we tell our story huh? our story uh, is not the story of the technology people management people huh? and how it is there otherwise uh, uh, we will be no more huh? anybody who do not tell story they may not exist uh, also yeah? so that is how uh, this becomes very interesting uh, 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 thing to see in post colonial context when the colonizers only tell stories we always find half truths in those stories about everybody about them also about us also and so we need to tell uh, or we need to retell the same stories uh, we need to retell those those stories there in your syllabus you have two novels uh, wherein this retellings are happening uh, so you will get a better idea about why the same story also needs to be told from different angle એ જ વાર્તા ફરી પાછી આપણે બીજા એંગલ થી શું કામ કરવાની હોય એ પણ જરૂરી છે દેટ ઓલ્સો ઇઝ નેસેસરી દેટ ધ સ્ટોરી ઇઝ ટોલ ફ્રોમ સેમ સ્ટોરી ટોલ ફ્રોમ વેરિયસ એંગલ્સ વી ગેટ ન્યુ પર્સ્પેક્ટિવ ઇન ધોઝ સ્ટોરીઝ ઓલ્સો ઓકે ઓકે સો આઈ હોપ યુ માઇટ હેવ ગોટ નાવ અ બેટર ગ્રાઉન્ડિંગ ઇન ટુ ધ પોસ્ટ કલોનિયલ ઇન્સાઇટ પોસ્ટ કલોનિયાલિટી પોસ્ટ કલોનિયલ ક્રિટિસિઝમ ઓલ્સો uh and uh, monday we are going to discuss uh, more of uh, on on monday uh, we will have uh, 